welcome to my channel. It's Jade here. I'm and Chris. I oh. <laughs> it's Jade and Chris here. And I hope you're all doing well. So today's video, as you can see, I'm having Chris here just because it's something that involves both of us, not just me. So I thought it'd be fun to have Chris here so that we can hear all his thoughts and ideas. <laughs> <laughs> ideas, thoughts, okay. Hey. So today's video is about our recent move. We moved to, where do we move to? Adawa. We moved to Canada, guys. We moved to Canada, new dispensation. Honestly, I always see that new dispensation thing on um, Twitter. Well, I heard from you. I've actually never seen it. I see it all the time. They even do this thing where they take pictures in front of the Toronto piercing airport sign. So it's like new dispensation when they are holding each other. Like, <laughs> when I say we should snap each other, you say, We're in a hurry, John. Hey, so what I do what? Immigration. Immigration of yeah. what? Immigration anyway, guys, country. so I just go and video for you so that you will know that you have moved to Canada. <laughs> hey. Anyway, so this video is just going to be like a couple of questions around our uh, move, why did we move, blah blah blah, those kind of things. And yeah, let me just give this caveat if you are looking for detailed information, like what website do you go to? What process do you take? This is not the video Wait, for this you. Is not the video. Sorry. This is not. This is not the video for, the video you. for you. Um, the only thing I can give you is like the generic website, which is. If I can't want to say long, we're just gonna give you <laughs> our own story. I R R C or something like that. I, I don't worry. I'll put it. I'll put it in the description bar, so you guys can click on that if you want like more information around like. This fraud moved to Canada. She doesn't know the website. You know, I'm see. That's what, I, that's what I'm telling you. I have like other friends, other YouTubers who are into that. I will also like link them so that you guys can really like check out their channels and get more information. But when it comes to like um just like our own personal experience, that's what this video is going to be about. Okay. Yep. All right, so I have like a few questions over here that I'm going to be asking. <laughs> you do like question. Like that's questions. how it's. That's how we I can be Continue, fun. continue. Okay, so the first question is, why did we decide to move? We decided to move because Lego was hiring everybody. I'm kidding. They didn't have that. <laughs> so um. So, like, post getting married, right, we decided that um, we felt it would be a better place for us to raise our kids, especially because we plan to have kids here in the same environment, um, expose them to what we would consider to be a less stressful life, and also because education standards are good they are also free it's it was it was mostly for the kids it was mostly for their future i mean i'm not saying we have well, obviously we plan to have kids and it was a major thing for us in that it was basically a, a bigger driving force for us to just have them in the same environment where everything just worked um we're not saying we are leaving Estranging them from Nigeria as a whole, no, they will Nigeria will be a part of their lives. But for us personally, we thought that was the next step for them for when they come. And um, yeah, that was typically the first driving force before we made the move. Then also for us because we don't want to. Nigeria Pali is not dependent on the game. <laughs> I was going to say because Nigeria Pali is not dependent on the game. This sounds now so altruistic. I beg. Me, my own reason is not that. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're just talking about it before the video started. She's lying. <laughs> See, to be okay. So for me, my own biggest reason, my biggest biggest reason, is because of the passport. There is no like the benefits you get, like from having a Canadian passport, is that there are lots. Yeah. When, like, apart from even just traveling, although that's one of the big reasons, ah, we'll talk, we'll talk to <laughs> not, not having to like get we'll to visa, to travel to different places, but then also like the benefits, the things that you can get, you know, from being a citizen for your children, um, you know, even benefits for yourself, yeah. and majorly like the economy as a whole. I think um, living in Nigeria, I was definitely by no means. Um, 
the average Nigerian. I had a good job and everything. And even with that, I was feeling the the strain. The currency was <laughs> the strain. The strain of the economy and how you know our standard of living just kept dropping and dropping. The kind of things you can afford, you go to supermarkets and you cannot just seem to afford certain things what you bought last week you cannot buy this you know it, it just became a lot for us and that's actually the reason why we decided to you know just to see if we can find a better opportunity for our life now obviously um if for any reason we are not able to make it here nigeria is still our home even and even if we do make it here as well like we are not like turning our backs on Nigeria or anything. Like we're still gonna go back there. We're still going to as often as we can. Even our parents are there. We have family members there, so it's not like oh, we have turned our back. You know, not really. But um, we do definitely want to take advantage of what this place has to offer. Yeah. So that's the reason why we decided to move. That's some of the reason why. Yeah. Because there are plenty. But that's like a, a good summary. General overview. Yes. Okay. So how did we move? I think I will cover that because um, I think I, I mean, do you know what's going on? So um, if you know, if you've heard a lot around around and about relocation, you know that people move in different ways through different programs. Um, we decided to move through the FSW, that means Federal Skilled Worker Program, Express Entry, yeah. and um, that's how we came in. So we did not come in as any students, no, any I'm masters, that nobody. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people ask this question because they, they like even at the airport they're like, oh, where's the admission letter? Where I'm like, admitting who? After I've seen, I'm saying something like, it's not going to make me go to school. I don't know yet. Me, I'll still go. <laughs> learning is forever. Well, I will learn from the end some night. Oh, <laughs> no, but um, we didn't come as students. We came as um, permanent residents. So as we are like this, you know, we are permanent residents already. So um, right now we're just you know like job searching and um, that's that's basically how we said to come. Um, like I said earlier, if you're looking for a step by step process of how this works out, not the video. This is not the video for that. Not I can video. just give you an overview, which was just ah, my God, this is long. It's it's long. long. The overview is long. <laughs> but do your what I, yes, do your research. One thing I found about Nigerians, they don't like to do their research. Ah, you wait. They like want to somebody that is just going to tell them one, two, three. See, even the accounts that I'm going to refer you guys to, yeah. they also advise that you do your research just because things that happened in our own time, we started in when? Again, there's uh, two answers to that question. We started in 2021 actually and um, obviously because of COVID, it delayed a little. Yeah, so 2020, um, November, uh, what, November? We started in 2020, November. 2020, yeah, November. 2020, November. And um, we eventually got our permanent residency in 2023, um, March, I think. Yeah. Uh, April. I mean, we got our passports on the 1st of April this year. Okay. So let me say that took us, let me say about two years roughly. But that's because of COVID. I think right now, if you are able to do well in your IELTS on time, it's not going to be that long. Yeah. So for a lot of people who started, so again, we recreated our profiles in August of 2022 because our profiles expired from lack of use or didn't ask ours so we recreated our profiles in august of 2022 which is what you can use as a timeline because it's post covid right created our profiles august 2022 we got our ita because the points were pretty high they were coming up from 580 something downwards and then we got our ita in uh, november right if i'm not mistaken in november and from November, I think it's basically an invitation to apply. So from then, we had 60 days to do our medical. Right? We had 60 days to submit our profile. We did our medicals a month after. Submitted our profile and then in, submitted our profile in January. And by the 1st of April, we had our passports back from Canada saying, okay, you can come now. If you understand what I mean. So yeah, that was, that was typically it. So I think the timelines you should be looking at now if you're looking into the whole thing five four to five months give or take seems about right actually especially if you don't have a reason to like rewrite your IELTS yes that's <laughs> important don't fail <laughs> study oh my god I know a lot of people think it's just English exam but 
and if you can study, if you can use some materials you have on the internet, use them. Okay, so the next question is when did we move? I mean, there's nothing special about that. We moved here. Me too. It's obviously a week. Today is first. We got we landed here on the twenty sixth of July. Yeah. So and today is the first of August. So we have not even spent, you know, long enough to even like, you know, <laughs> to even know anything. Yeah, to know well, anything. Literally just going through emotions at the moment. Exactly. But I felt like it was not a bad idea to actually answer these questions, which is like, what are your immediate regrets or satisfaction with moving? Like obviously we've not spent enough time for you to like give it comprehensive, yeah. but like immediately like ah, I don't really share like what are your thoughts already? It's it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's there's no stress yet. Again, because we've spent most of the time trying to just settle in. But everything has been more or less seamless, has been easy. We haven't had any struggles or anything. So I'm happy with the peace of mind. I'm happy with everything around me at the moment and uh, yeah I don't have any regrets now like you said maybe it's a bit too early but I don't have any regrets I definitely miss my family I miss Lagos I miss turning up in Lagos wow I miss turning up in Lagos already I know my guys are how many days <laughs> well, hey <laughs> I, I know my guys are probably out this Friday or well, out last Friday I miss Lagos turn up but and I know it's something that you can't easily just find here but I need to get used to being a homebody. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's it, it seems like it might be a bit boring. But um again it's how you build your network and what you do with that. So that might make it more fun yeah. for you. I agree. I think I, I, I really do think that it has a lot to do with the kind of network you have. Yeah. Um, people believe well we are in Ottawa just in case you guys are wondering like what part of Canada we're in. We're actually in Ottawa, Ontario. Yeah. So um for me, I am happy in the sense that I feel like it's a land of opportunities. Yes. Um, there's Daily like so much, there's so much to explore. I've heard a lot of things around like how you can, you know, make money, how you can meet people and you know, how you can advance your career, etc. Um, in terms of regrets, honestly, I don't have any, like I will say, I wouldn't describe it as a regret. I will say there are things that I can see that I probably took for granted in Lagos. And some of these things include like accessibility to certain things. Yeah, um, movement. Movement is very, very easy in Lagos. I know you guys probably be like, oh, you know, the whole fuel situation and you know the cost of transportation. But trust me, it's not as well, maybe we are using our think, conventional to be mind. Honest, to be honest, I don't think movement is. I don't think movement is a thing. Yes, because we've been here five days. We've not well, really possibly, explored. Possibly, yes. Because again, the bus systems and everything seem way more robust than what we had in Lagos. At the same time, it's also cleaner and has peace of mind inside. You get because I feel like what Doctor Eshaw says. I don't mind if I see stick down from Lagos, but I feel like yeah. so. For example, um, buying things. For example, oh, especially yeah. especially when you're buying like. A, a like a big item you the the ease at which you get handy men yes, in Lagos okay for example like I want to buy some furniture we just moved here so there are some things I need like when I'm trying to get table I'm trying to order in a chair and one of the things that are limiting me from going to certain places is who is going to help me carry the chair who's going to help me move it who's going to help me carry it do you understand so those are kind of the kind of things that you wouldn't have to consider in Lagos. The access to ease which we had was different. It yes. Was, was different. But now we have to, now we are really in that DIY situation. Yes. Or oh, if we have to pay for these services, they're going to cost an money and because everybody's trying to make their own money. Exactly. You know, like but my. Lagos, we could just call anybody. My gate man can help me pack something. Yeah. Oh, like give him 500. I don't need to give him anything. Cheap really. labor. Do you understand? Like nice having the exactly. So those are some of the things that we took for granted. Like, if I want to move something from here to there, having ease to my mom's driver or ease to my mom's car, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, moving from, like when we were even leaving, moving from um, from Sumeri to GRA, Keja, I don't, I don't think I spent one penny. No, we didn't. Like, I did yes. not spend anything. Like, my mom's driver was able to find a friend who had a pickup yeah. truck 
that was that. If it's here, you start budgeting some two hundred. I honestly think it's because we don't have we don't have that network yet. I think once no, we have that network, no, but even those that do, it's never it's never so simple. But in fairness, me, I think I can create that network around you. So me, I'm not, I'm not, I don't particularly bother about that so right now. I saw a worry for me until it becomes one. So I guess because since I've been here, I have this friend Daniel who has been really helpful. He's been up and about. Anytime I get to go somewhere, he will help. And I think if you can build that network of people, you will not have to struggle with a lot of those things, especially if they have these preset skills that you need for certain things. So again, for me, I worry a bit, but it's not it's not too much of a worry. It's not too well, much of a worry. fair enough. I mean, I would say, however, that especially from those people who have moved here before me, they are still experiencing those issues. Um, mm, having you know, like a network of people who are willing to go above, like. Us being here and having a friend to it us, every single person that I have mentioned this to has been wild. Like, and these are people who have been here for years. So it's not like, oh, maybe they just moved in and they haven't had the opportunity to make friends. A lot of people do not have this type of friends that can help you do things. So it's no, like a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people just get really like absorbed in their own hustle and their own issues and yeah. yeah so that happens a lot but then like you said i think it's really important to also try and build a network of people who are willing to actually assist you but yeah that's that's what i'll say i, I won't call it a regret it's not i'm, I'm not regretting because i've not i mean i've lived um in the uk for four years in the past and they have a similar economy whereby you don't necessarily have your family close by and you need to be able to figure out how to do things yourself mm-hmm. so i wouldn't say i'm not new to that i knew it was going to be like that but then i would just say those are one of the things that i'm immediately you know seeing feeling, the difference yeah. yes i'm immediately like feeling the difference like ah in nigeria they go grocery shopping <laughs> I, I used to send the entire list. market and, see i can't remember i went to market i sent my mom's driver i give him this who buy it and bring it yes. for I mean, it is what it is. I guess it's time to pull up. Yeah, DIY. <laughs> DIY. Okay. Um, the second to last question. The... Second to last. Yeah, the second to last. Well, actually, let me say the last question for both of us. The last one is actually more directed at me and this channel. Um, so this one will be like, do you recommend moving to? I mean, obviously, like I said, it's still early. But at least with the little you've seen, do you recommend moving? Canada. I definitely do. Um, as you see, my first recommendation is to first leave that Lagos because <laughs> Nigeria is going to like with this dollar changes, with the fuel expense situation, with all of that, it seems heavy. It can be heavy on your mind. Like what you were paying for fuel to fuel your car three weeks ago, I mean, the Three months ago, it's not the same thing you're paying now. It's, it's triple. Three it's up to three months. It's triple. <laughs> so once you're going to pay cost of transportation from point A to point B, tripled. Even buying food, the cost of food is going up. And these are just decisions made by three or four people, and it's affecting the whole country. It does. I, I personally feel like the stability in the country right now is not is because the country is not currently stable. And as of right now, if you ask me to pay, I'll tell you I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. For your future, for right now, I highly recommend it. Um, for me, what I'll say is do your research. I feel like yeah. people people are very different. Um, I'm not going to wave the Canadian flag and say everybody in this life should move to Canada. Yes, that's what Because sure. it's it's not for everybody. It's mm-hmm. not for everybody. Look at what your income is saying. Look at what your business is saying. There are some people who are in Lagos, but they are earning dollars. If I had that opportunity, I honestly speaking, I honestly, okay. I may not have moved because when I look at the difference in the cost of living, it is very like there's a large difference. We went to one shop the other day and we bought toothpaste to have it to paste for ten dollars. And for me, like compared to places like the UK. Um, basic things are actually expensive here. So if you don't know whether you're going to get a good job, maybe you're not in a line, a good line of car- uh, career path, maybe you're, you're, you're not you're equipped with the ability to actually earn highly here because it's not every job that you're going to get a reasonable um, salary. If you don't have a proper career path that is going to make you have a good earning, you need to be careful about your decision because yeah. you don't want to come to a place where 
the standard of living is high, expenses are high, and you are not any, having a good job. Your job path is not a good job. Do you understand? Yeah. At least if you're in Lagos, most people have family members who can house them, who can take care of them while they are struggling. Nothing like that here. <laughs> I gotta go back home. So you, what I'll say is, if do I recommend it? Yes, if you know that you have planned very well, you have thought about it, you have done your research, you've done the pros and cons, and the pros outweigh the cons, then you can say move here. But if you know that you don't have what it takes, if you're not, you're somebody that like fraudulent activities, all yeah, those, the place or, I swear, all those uh, doctoring of documents, all those funny funny things, you, you, you are not gonna survive. You're gonna, gonna live to your So that's, that's my answer to that. Just yeah. do your research and make that decision based on your own current reality. Yep, that's the perfect answer actually. Yeah. Do your research, understand what it is you are looking for. Yeah. And just make that decision on your own. I'm not gonna tell you. Yes, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. If you on a base level, as long as you can afford it and you think you would work and you'll be fine, then yes, it has a lot of advantages here. If you think, just do your research and yeah. Just wave his eyes your realities and then make that job. So for the final question, and that's actually directed at me and this channel, is basically what does this move mean for this channel? So I'm sure you guys, those of you that are following me diligently, that subscribe to me, thank you for that first of all. But um, in terms of like, okay, I have a Lagos living vlog, I have a Taste by Jade um, section where I review restaurants in Lagos. So what does moving here mean for all those aspects of my page? So let me start with the Lagos living. Obviously, I don't live in Lagos anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anymore so it's it's probably going to be i don't know if i want to make it ottawa or canada i mean of course i stay in ottawa at the moment but i don't know i i feel like canada living sounds better yeah it know. does because again we do hope to explore the rest of canada as well and maybe need to ottawa living is just going to streamline yeah, it streamline yeah we can potentially do it to primarily at the moment it's primarily be ottawa but yes we uh, we reckon that you see some Toronto stuff. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's going to be the, the major change. That um, obviously I'm not going to be in Lagos anymore. In terms of taste by Jay, that's the restaurant reviews I do. Um, I will definitely continue to review restaurants, but they will just be, you know, based here or yeah. exactly. That's exactly what I'll do. Um, I don't know how often they will be. Us. Just. Oh, wow, it's so spicy. Yes, and I think because this place is so wide, so like Lagos, it was easy to just, you know, see. just to be eyes eh? Exactly, and like people could easily, like, you know, come to Lagos and know that, okay, these are the cluster of restaurants in a certain oh. area, but I feel like here it's so widespread. Let's go on the PM. Kenata, oh my god. I swear, so it might not be so easy, like, I don't think I'm going to be good. I don't know how much value that's going to bring for you guys, honestly, I don't know. If anybody that is talking to me is ever going to be around my area and go to the restaurant I'm talking about, I, I don't know, I don't know. But I will actually um, continue to review them as much as possible, as much as I, like, as long as I feel like it's relevant. Yeah. But it's open to change depending on how those videos are being received yeah. you know anyway we have come to the end of this video <laughs> yes i was having fun um thanks to, i mean special thanks to our visitor i'm not a visitor i belong <laughs> on this channel she's the one that's always streamlining stop pushing me ask her ah. to get me on the channel more and you see more of me don't mind christopher because it's happy today i'm yeah. always happy okay i bet Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, you can also follow me on my social if you want to hear from me more regularly. If you guys have any questions, <laughs> if you guys have any questions about like our move, um, please drop them in the comment section. I will try as much as possible to answer them if I can. Like I said, this video is not intended to educate you about relocation. It's just to like share our story really. Can you stop dancing? <laughs> it's just to share our, our story. Really. It's not really to like, um, this is not a channel where you're going to be getting updates about how to move to Canada. No. So, but if there's any question that you feel like I can personally ask, like, oh, what did I do in this situation? I don't mind to, you know, attend to that question. So, drop them in the comment section. 
okay anyway thanks for watching bye what are you doing for god's sake bye bro <laughs> should i not tell him <laughs> should i not tell him bye why are you exasperated <laughs>